Hey guys, Christian here. I'm back at it again with yet another reaction video. Uh, like I said prior before, I'm going to be doing another reaction. I'm going to be doing more reaction videos up till we get to the main video. Before I do a reaction video of that video of the upcoming Crash Bandicoot versus Slot. Uh, I almost said Slot Cooper. Crash Bandicoot versus Spyro the Dragon. Now, this is going to be one more video we're going to be reacting to before that main death battle. This one is going to be we're going to do a reaction video to Spyro charges into death battle so anybody who's been watching this channel for quite some time now knows i am a die hard spyro the dragon lover if you got as i said before i've already done a reaction video to crash bandicoot dashes into death battle i'll leave a link in the description down below for those of you guys who want to check out that death battle so for now we're going to be doing a reaction video to spyro charges into death battle and uh I'm a little bit concerned how they're going to introduce Spyro right here. Now, Crash, at least when, at least when they mentioned other generations with with the Crash Bandicoot, at least they only brought only a few parts of the quote unquote updated versions of Crash, but still sticking with most of, uh, but yeah, still at least sticking with with uh, most of the original Crash Bandicoot. At least, at least that's all we know about. And as we saw in the thumbnail of that video. Of the that original video, we see we see the crash doing that, which is which looks like exactly the old fashioned crash we all know and love. Uh, this thumbnail right here is exactly Spyro from not the original Spyro, but Spyro, uh, the new beginning. I'm really that's kind of interesting that they went with that thumbnail. I kind of hope they went with the the original thumbnail though. So, uh, uh, the, the one main concern I do have is. I hope they're not gonna try to come out of nowhere and do some weird mixture where they try to come off on a way to say say how all three versions of Spyro, original, New Beginning, and uh, Skylanders is all someone mixed together at first. Unless you're doing some what the Canadian guy did, I'll leave a link in the description of that video down below. The Canadian guy A made an awesome theory video. Now again, it's just a theory, it's not official can. He made an awesome theory video on how all three Spyros are officially canon together all at once but I hope Death Battle, if that's what Death Battle do, does it, if that's what Death Battle is going to be doing, I hope they do it right but with that being said guys, let's move on straight into the video, so here we go uh, Spyro charges into Death, death Battle, one quick warning uh, just like the previous video, I'm not going to have a big old screen right here here, here, like you see in most reaction videos normally do. If you want to see the original content, I'll leave the original content of Spyro Char Charges into Death Battle, the original video down in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. And with that being said, here we go. Prophecy tells of a special purple dragon born every ten generations, destined to be a hero of his age. This oh, they're going the with the legend version. Spyro. Dark Master Malifor learned of this, he swore to destroy Spyro before he even hatched. By the way, there are at least three different timelines for Spyro, but we're mainly sticking with the Legend of Spyro version, because he can do pretty much anything the other ones can, and more. Plus, I think they're all the same as Spyro reincarnated anyway, since that's what the prophecy says, and look, that's totally Skylands being made at the end of Dawn of the Dragon. And yeah, like I quoted, they're going to use... Uh, the Canadian guy, he made a similar theory video right here, so that's what they're doing with. So, so, so I see what they're doing with. They're going to use the original Crash for the Crash Bandicoot side, and they're going going with the Legends version Spyro of Legend of the New Beginning, getting Spyro. <sighs> they he makes they make a good point. Legend Spyro is probably the best Spyro to go with, but still, I, I feel kind of eye with the same time. Wild fan theories aside, Spyro was saved from Malfor's wrath by Ignitus, a guardian dragon. He decided to pull a Moses and send Spyro's egg floating down a river to who knows where. Okay, why do so many stories start with people just throwing babies into rivers? That's never a good idea. Wrong, Wiz. It worked out fine for Spyro. He was found. Oops, sorry. Hold on, hold on. And adopted by a family of dragonflies. And even without fellow dragons around, Spyro grew up to be a pretty good fighter. He's strong, tough, and makes good use of his horns, tail, and claws. But not his wings. Not yet. Without a dragon's parentage, Spyro remained mostly grounded during his childhood. But he got pretty good at using his head. Like, the fun way, not, not the brainy stuff. <laughs> you do not want to be on the other end of his charge attack. But one fateful day, everything changed. During a game of hide-and-seek with his quote-unquote brothers... Uh, 
that whole no flying thing they just mentioned. There's a slight problem. I just realized right now this exact moment. Yes, just like the original Spyro and Skylanders version of Spyro, Spyro did struggle with flying at first. However, eventually by the time he met Cinder, no, not met Cinder, by the time him and Cinder became great buddies and, and learned some things here and there, as we all know, Spyro did learn eventually to fly. And normally when it comes to screw attack, screw attack, when it comes to death battle, normally you guys like to use the present of the day version of Spyro, and yet... Of, 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 of whatever type of generation of genre you're, you're doing with, of course. And yet you're saying Spyro can't fly yet, yet clearly in the the New new Beginnings series, Spyro could fly yet. Now, yes, not right out of the bat, but there was a time even both in the first game and, of course, the final game of the series where Spyro did learn to eventually fly. Uh, screw Attack, I hope you eventually clear that up during your death battle very soon. Sparks. They got into a bit of monkey business and, in desperation, Spyro unexpectedly breathed fire. This was Spyro's first hint that he was adopted. Hold up. You mean he thought he was an actual dragonfly the whole time? I can think of a few other hints like, I don't know, any time he saw his reflection. This revelation prompted Spyro to go on a journey in search of his true home among other dragons. Oh, and Sparks tagged along to help find treasure and protect his dragon brother from harm. Not like he needed it! He's the chosen one, bitch! He's got a bunch of awesome dragon powers! As a purple dragon, Spyro was not limited to just his fire breath. After finding and rescuing true. four great dragon guardians, they each became his teachers in the arts of elemental combat. Hey, Wiz, remember when I was training in the art of elemental combat? You mean you're a flamethrower? Uh, I'll miss that in turn. Well, come back next week and check out the battle of the PlayStation mascots in the full episode. Spyro the Dragon versus Crash Bandicoot. Bandicoot. Okay, so that was my reaction to uh, Spyro charging into death battle. Um, it was a good video. I like the video in general, but again, the whole bring up of Spyro can't fly. I mean, yeah, I, like I just said earlier, Spyro wasn't always the greatest flyer, but in the New Beginning series, Spyro could fly a little bit during the first game and quite a bit during the third game, so I don't know where you're trying to get at Screw Attack. Hopefully you guys clear this up by when when Death Battle comes around. Hopefully you guys repeat what you say right here, here during your Death Battle announcement, your introduction, whatever, but then near the end when you're done talking about Spyro, you guys then later on eventually mention that Spyro can fly. At least new beginning version of Spyro can fly at least. Because Spyro did eventually finally learn to fly properly by the end of Dawn of the Dragon. Now, he wasn't a perfect flyer, and there were some flaws that you, you we may have noticed during his flying at the time during Dawn of the Dragon, but at the end of the day... Spyro eventually learned how to fly. And hopefully they don't come out of nowhere and say somewhere Spyro loses because he can't fly or whatever or such. Because remember, now, if they're using the original Spyro or maybe potentially Skylander Spyro, then it would make sense why Spyro would, would lose by not flying because of that said reason. Otherwise, screw attack, you better be prepared to back up your evidence right there once your death battle happens. Other than that, this was a kind of interesting video, and there were some good slapsticks here and there, which is typically, for, typically expected from most death battle videos and all that such. So, that right there, guys, was my reaction to Spyro Charges into Death Battle. Next week, we are going to be doing a reaction video to the main death battle itself, Crash Bandicoot vs. Spyro the Dragon, guys. And I'm really looking forward to that death battle, guys. At the same time, I'm a little worried. Mm. So let me know who you guys are rooting for. Are you rooting for Spyro? Are you rooting for Crash? If you're rooting for Crash, okay, no problem. That's awesome. I respect that. If you're rooting for Spyro, peace, bam. 
So I'll see you guys next week. If you guys if you guys can't wait for next week, uh, check out my Let's Play content. I'll be doing Let's Play content every every now and then as of late. And if you guys want to watch my Let's Play content, I recently completed Spyro at the time this video is first being recorded. I'm going to be working on Spyro's uh, Rift's Rage very soon. And I might do Crash Bandicoot very soon. If this is a high demand for me to play Crash Bandicoot uh, Insane Trilogy, of course. If you guys want to see me do that, I'll definitely do that, guys. So with that being said, Thank you all again so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all another day, and I'm out. Bye. Peace.